Well, here we are. Friday, July 29th, 2022. Larissa, this is what I got going on right now. So, I'm working on these book covers for these books that I made, the handbound books that I'm working on. And see, here's I still have a few more to do, and I'm going to make some bookmarks too. But the images are um, inspired by the new images from the James Webb um, telescope I've been watching. And then I learned about uh, another, another uh, imaging thing that's out there right now. It's an x-ray telescope. It's pretty cool, too, and its images are amazing. So got, yesterday I went and got some new dyes here, watercolor concentrates, and I'm flooding my surfaces and then dropping the, the, the uh, color into the water, kind of like with shibori. I haven't done any tests with oil yet. I think that might be interesting. But then I'm using different salts to um, create uh, different effects that are, you know, kind of space-like, right? Kind of nebular. Ooh. Almost knocked over my mannequin here. So here's one I have kind of put together so far. This is the first one. And it's different than the other ones. It has the, the binding is, is on the inside as opposed to the outside. I decided I visually like the binding better on the outside. And on this one, I also made a mistake stitching. When I stitched the, the cover down, I stitched it to the first two pages instead of just the one page. So this book has going to have one less page than all the other books. So I'm going to have to be careful when I'm applying that. Um, but you see how, how pretty... This is this is the salt patterning and the different the different pigments the different the different watercolor concentrates and the different forms because I've also used some traditional watercolor both cake and tube and depending on 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 what their chemical makeup is the different colors have different reactions and the uh, Doc Martin dyes water or the watercolor their watercolor concentrates which are different than I have some some old uh, luminas which I wish I could get more of those are amazing um, but it, ha it has this weird iridescence thing and it's not even it's not with all of the salts it's only with some of the salts but that anyway that's the first one and there's the second one see they're kind of pretty aren't they are they pretty Nice book covers, huh? Nice book covers for my handmade books here. And I'll make bookmarks. So I have a couple different kinds of, I have floor to sell. This is real floor to sell. Um, I have this, which is falk salt, and we'll, I'll talk about that in a, minute, in a minute. And then I have this Maldon's salt, which is, um, this sea salt is... This is off the coast of Great Britain. So where is that? Where this is from? Yeah, Maldon, England. This is salt that has been manufactured to have the same structure. So these salt crystals are kind of like little pyramids, right? And these ones, this is salt that has been manufactured to have that shape. I can't get it open. Anyway. And these salts are, these are like grains. And I, I've also used some Himalayan salt as well. And the Himalayan salt leaves different mineral deposits in as well. And I've been reusing the salt after it sucks up the dye. Like you can see in this one, I've used salt over and over. And so it has some, some color in it. But then you can also see there's some Himalayan, big Himalayan crystals in there. And it has different effect. The different salts affect the way that the different colors behave. But here you can see some of that iridescence, right? You can see some of the iridescence that's happening in, in, it's really cool. This one has been drying for like four days now. It's still not totally dry yet. So once it's dry, then I shake all the salt off and collect all the salt. This one I did yesterday. So we'll see these blue, this, these blue dyes I got three different blues, and we'll see how they respond to the salt. We will see. And I've also added, this is white pen ink, right? 
and it does interesting things as well on the paper and in response to the salt and the different colored dyes. This one, it's the first one that I used and I didn't realize like it's a little too thick there and it cracked. So I have to be more careful in the in, in future ones. But see, look how cool that is. The response, oh, it wants to focus on my finger. Don't focus on my finger. So I got that going on here. And then got this dress I'm, I'm working on. I thought it was done when I finished it. I was working on this last week. I was gonna wear this for our anniversary, but then I didn't like the way it looked when I put it on and I didn't have time to, to finish it. So like I used this doily here on the back of this dress and have cut out and stuff. But then like this is where my butt is, right? This is where the butt is. And it looked like I had a tail. It looked like I had a beaver tail. It was weird. So I have this pinned down now so I can stitch down the lace down the rest of the back of the dress and then I'll be able to wear the dress. What do you think, Brody? What do you think about that? He says, I don't care. He says, I want to go outside and play ball. Oh, ball? Are we going to play ball? We might play some ball today, buddy. I think we will, but not just yet. Mama's got a couple other things to do. Yeah, I do. Some other things going on. And then I have some herbs, herbs hanging, more herbs hanging in here. I always got some herbs hanging. I picked these yesterday, collected these. Was it yesterday or the day before? I got more thyme and more oregano, some rosemary, and then this variegated, tri-variegated sage. And this is also, so I got two different salvias here. And this salvia, this one's been hanging here longer. And I think, no, nah, it's still not quite ready. It's still a little juicy at the stem. It's almost ready for me to process down, pull the leaves off of. And then I got this epizote up here, this piece of epizote, and it's still, it's still flexible, so it's not ready to be crumbled yet either. But they're getting there. They're getting there. There's the last of the fresh plums. So I've, I've processed all my other plums into prunes, and I have some in, in candy in a jar in... And when I say candy, I mean, I mean syrup in the refrigerator. And then the rest of them I have in the freezer because they're not sulfured. I don't put preservative on them. So they will mold if I just put them in the cupboard. So they're in the freezer for me to use at a later date. Oh, my dishwasher's going here. And then I have these. The, these are what Omar calls the dinosaur berries. I'm waiting for the green ones to, to ripen in here. But there's probably more out there that I can pick today. These are those black nightshade berries. So they're really tasty. I'm gonna do something with them. I don't know, I think I might try making, making a jam with them. I think that will be good. And I got some compost, I need to take that out to the compost. And then I've been working on repairing some of, the, some of my jewelry, jewelry that I've made, right? I'm gonna go down here. Just one piece, it makes me really, really angry that I'm try I have to figure out how I'm gonna repair. So I repaired a bunch of stuff that just had some wear and tear stuff on it. But then I've had, there's this piece. I'll take these out of here for right now. This piece is the second necklace I ever made in college. And somebody, when they have broken into our house, has taken things and broken things. And one of the things they broke was this necklace. And they didn't just break it. They took one of the pieces off of it, which makes me angry makes me really, really, really angry. So I can't just put it back together, right? I can't just put it back together because it's missing a piece and they don't fit together because they're not regular shapes. They're all different shapes. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do to make this piece wearable again. So I was thinking, I'll add these couple pieces of petrified wood in here, see if I can do that. And then, make a couple pair of petrified wood earrings. Like these would match, would go with that as a set. And then those would make a nice pair of earrings, wouldn't they? I mean, make a real nice pair of earrings. They would, but th this necklace, I, I oh, makes me so, so angry. It's so shitty to just take, they just took a piece out of that necklace. So this is hammer formed and, and fume patinaed copper and, and then sterling silver. And then it has a lovely little sister hook clasp on it. Ugh. But I don't know, like, or, like I said, there were a couple other pieces in there that were broken that I think were broken on purpose when they broke, when whoever broke in. It's like they, they didn't take the jewelry, they just broke the jewelry. And it's shitty. The guy that lives across the street from me doesn't like me, right? 
and he's he's a blacksmith. And there have been other things damaged, other other of my metalwork that has been damaged. And the one thing that was damaged was a ladle that I made. And you'd have to, in order to have done the damage that was done to it, you would have had to have had some specific chemicals, right? So I have my suspicions about who was over here and has damaged this and, you know, other metalwork because it would have to be somebody who knows metalwork. And gee, isn't it convenient that I have a, have a neighbor that hates me who is super shitty and also happens to be a blacksmith? Hmm. Hmm. And whose last name is the same as, happens to be the same as, as the title of one of my paintings that was stolen as well. Hope. Yeah, that painting was called, one of the paintings was called Hope. And this person who doesn't like me, who's been super shitty, their last name is Hope. So, I, you know, gee, what do you think, Brody? Do you think there's a good chance that somebody named Hope stole my painting called Hope? Hmm? I think there's a pretty good chance of that. So, deal with that as well. Oh, and deal with some laundry down here. Oh, oh, Mr. Twain. Come on, Brody. Come on, Brody. Are we going to go out to the garden? Should we take out the compost? Should we take out the compost, huh, buddy? Mama take her keys to the greenhouse. Hey, hey, hey. Why do you got to squeeze past? He always has to squeeze past in the smallest areas. Let's see if I can manage this. I'm gonna turn off the lights. We don't want to waste electricity, right? All right, Jerkemeyer, let's go. Look at that. Those trees came down. They came down real nice. The trees came down real nice there now. Now it's much safer. Don't have all those dead branches and stuff hanging over the power lines. Yeah. And you just have a nice big straight tree there. And all the roots are still in place. Let's go. I don't know what's going on with these plants. They keep wilting. I water them. I don't know what's going on with these plants. Do you have to pee there? Right there, is that necessary? He says, yes. Where are we going, buddy, huh? We going up into the garden? We gonna go up in the garden? So it's been hot and dry and there's some ferns up here that I need to cut back. Oh, my pumpkin needs some water. <sighs> Buddy, move, please. Do you have to have your nose? I'm going to smack you in the face. Come on. He gets so eager. Overly eager. I'm going to water my pumpkin up there. We'll go look. Oh, maybe there might be some strawberries to pick. Huh? Maybe. Maybe be some strawberries to pick. What's going on in the compost? Stuff's rotting. That's what's going on in the compost. I need to add some browns here. I need to add some browns to the compost. Now, I cut back those ferns up there that are brown. I can throw those in the comp some of those in the compost. Even that out. What's he up there doing? See if they're gonna talk to Omar's chickens. That's funny, Omar calls them his chickens. His chickens, they are his chickens. They're totally his chickens. And I got some nice planting coming up here. I have to pick some of this here and dry it for tincture soon. Oh, something's chewing on my squash plant. Oh, look, I'm finally getting a squash on there. Let me get the squash watered today. I try to be careful about not watering too much. Hey, 
chickens. Hey Toots, hey Snoots, hey Camilla, hey Steve Holt. How's chickens doing today? We having a good chicken day? Well, if I come out here, if I come back out here and uh, maybe I'll put on my bibbing suit and do some, do some garden work today, huh? Maybe I will. Or maybe I'll wait until, until daddy comes out to clean your house this weekend and then I'll, I'll be out here too. You want some, you want some yard time? I don't know. I, I saw the hawk. No, last time Omar cleaned them, they didn't even want to come out. They came out and went back in because the hawk was out and about. Yeah, and Toots and Snoots remember Big Mama getting eaten by the hawk, huh? How you doing, Snooty Bird? Snooty Bird, you're such a nice chicken. I know, Daddy. Daddy put the hardware cloth on, so now I can't pet you through the through the through the panel. I have to open the door. Hmm. Hey, Sno Snoots and Toots. Hey, Tooty Bird. Tooty Bird. Snooty Bird. Tooty Bird. Snooty Bird. How do I know? Snooty Bird has the smaller comb. Yeah, hey, how you doing? How you doing? You're such nice chickens. You're such nice chickens. Oh, look, it was a Steve, one of Steve Holt's feathers over there. How'd Steve Holt's feather get over there, huh? Hey, Steve Holt. How you doing, Steve? Steve is such a nice rooster. He is so snuggly. Are you a snuggly rooster? Are you a rooster who likes to snuggle? Yeah, you are. You're a snuggly bird. Oh, here I got some uh, thistle. I don't know, maybe I should pull that up. I should pull that up and dry it and make some tea. I got some milk thistle supplement yesterday. It's been hard to find. Ooh, we got some blackberries over here. Hey, blackberries. I should pick some of those. Mmm. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them. I'm gonna come out here and pick some more berries. See, look at this. I don't know. So the, there's these these what Omar calls the dinosaur berries. The these are the black nightshade, right? Black nightshade berries. I didn't plant these. These like just came up natural. I'm sure some bird shit out some seeds and. This is not where I would have put them because they're kind of squished back here next to this, this olive and this fern and right in the path of where the daffodils come up in the spring. Oh, I need to come over here and do some weeding. Hey, little lizard. Look at the little lizard going up the apricot tree. Oh, the bees over there. Yeah, I'd come over here with a weed whacker, but... The bees will not like the weed whacker, so it means I, can, I gotta come over here and pull out the weeds. But I'm wearing black today, so maybe I'll wait until tomorrow and wear my white dress and come over and do it. We also need to crack open the hive because I think there's probably honey in there. More than probably. It'll be our first harvest. What do you think, Brody? What do you think? What do you think? I'll have to sterilize some jars. Sterilize some jars. See, look at this. This fern, too. This one here is all a mess, too. I'm going to pull off all the dead ones. Let's go over here and look at this Cinderella pumpkin. There is something going on with this pumpkin plant. Flowers are so delicious. They are. We've eaten so many of the flowers off of here. But it had a pumpkin on it. It did. It had a pumpkin on it, but it, I don't see it anymore. And there's a bunch of dead leaves where the pumpkin was. There's somebody who comes in here and vandalizes. There is. There's somebody who comes in this garden and vandalizes. And I think it's so shitty. It's so shitty. Ugh. These pumpkin flowers, they are delicious. I, I batter them and fry them. They're so good. And the bumbly bees, they love them. The pollen, it, they smell nice too, the flowers. I was really surprised. They're very fragrant on this particular varietal. Anyway, anyway, let's go see if some of the herbs I plant, I planted some seeds. Let's see if they're starting to come up yet. Well, maybe Brody's down there barking at Jerkemeyer across the street. I don't see any coming up here yet. 
Oh, no, there is. I see a couple coming up. All right. Let's look over here. How about over here? How are we doing over here? I don't know. Just weeds so far in the lonely borage. What about over here? I planted some seeds in here. Oh, somebody was shitty and dug them up. Seriously, right there. Right there, I had seeds planted right there, and somebody came in and dug them up. Why are people like that? Why are people like that? And partially eaten strawberry? Who's eating my strawberries? There's my epizote. There's some strawberries in here for me to pick. Well, I got some berries to pick. Make some berry jam. Make some berry jam. Berry yummy. What do you think, Brody? What do you think? People are assholes? People are assholes. Oh, look at my rose hips. I haven't, I didn't deadhead any of my roses over here because this plant was really prolific. And, oh, they're starting to ripen. They're finally starting to ripen. We'll have some real nice rose hip jam. Look at those beautiful big rose hips. So once these rose hips all get ripened, I'll pick them and I will cook those down. They will be yummy, yummy, yummy. Rose hips make a really nice jam. They really, really do. You just got to get all of the, the fuzz out of the middle. Yep. Yep. Anyway, that's what I got going on today. <laughs>